My name's Hannah, I'm 40 and I live in Leeds. I was 39. Um, the symptoms that I had were breathlessness, uh, I was unable to walk the, up the street, I couldn't get up the stairs um, and I had terrible acid reflux um, that was causing me a lot of pain. Okay, well I gave up smoking in the March and I went to my doctor six weeks later with the breathlessness and that was about nine months before diagnosis and he advised me that the breathlessness was from giving up smoking and then a couple of months later I went back again and said it was there again and they said I got uh, an infection. Yes, we looked at um, anxiety. So once they'd gone through the acid reflux and they'd gone through the need for antibiotics for a chest infection, they started then saying that I'd got severe anxiety and they started giving me different things to make me sleep through the night. given to me in the hospital. I'd ended up in hospital and my cardiologist told me that I'd got dilated cardiomyopathy. Horrific. Um, I couldn't breathe. I couldn't lie down. I had 11 kilos of fluid that was all around my body. Um, I hadn't slept for weeks. I'd probably slept an hour to two hours a night. It was, and I couldn't walk, couldn't look after my children. I didn't know a simple blood test for heart failure existed, but I do now. Yeah, absolutely, I have children with special needs and not being able to look after them was incredibly difficult and the fact that I had to be taken away from them from 11 days because of such a late diagnosis, had they have diagnosed me sooner I wouldn't have been in hospital and I wouldn't have been taken away from them that, in that time. Oh, I couldn't walk my children to school so I had to get people to help me walk the children to school. I couldn't um, walk into work, I was late for work most days, I had to ask my boss if I could start slightly later because I, the, the time it was taking me to get to places, um, I wasn't able to do some of my duties at work as well, which was quite difficult for me. Oh, now I know about the BMP test for the heart stress. I 100% would like that to be different. I wish they'd have done that from the day I walked in rather than dismissing it because I was younger and I didn't have the same symptoms as a typical heart failure person. Mm -hmm.